Hello and welcome to another episode of Sports and Songs podcast. Tonight's a bonus episode. We've got Craig from Philly on to join us. How are you doing, Craig? Pretty good. So tonight's episode, Craig, is going to be 2024 Golden Gophers football preview show. We're going to go through, like we did last year, right, the entire Gopher schedule, see how they're going to go, how they're going to win, if they're going to lose, what's the story, what to expect on each of these games, and then kind of come to a conclusion of their, what their win-loss record should be like, what's their hope for bowl situation at the end of the season, all that good stuff. Uh and it starts tomorrow. Tomorrow is a Thursday night game, another nationally televised game. Um, it's on Fox, right, Fox? I believe so. That's kind of the footprint for the Gophers now is that Thursday night game. They've been doing that. This is the third year now, I believe. Yes, I thought it was longer than that, but you probably okay, – it, it could be. I know it's three for sure, but they've been doing this for a while, and they've been – I don't know how they're getting the deal or how they're getting the contract, but they're getting this national television game to start off the season with. Uh, and then kicking into their non-conference schedule and then getting into the Big Ten schedule. But let's talk about first this August 29th game tomorrow night. It's a 7 o'clock kickoff. The times here are central. I know you're out in Philly, but for the listeners here in Minnesota, it's a 7 o'clock kickoff on Fox. North Carolina, we have a two-game a two game contract with them. We played out there in Chapel Hill last year. Now they're coming here. They're without the big quarterback from last year, right? Yeah, they're without Drake May. Okay. So what, what's your thoughts on this team? It should be a good game, though, right? This is the heads because I could go either way. I wouldn't I wouldn't bet any money on this game in Vegas. Because, okay, but but I'm gonna be a homer here, and, and I'm gonna go with the Gophers like twenty four to twenty. I think they're gonna win. I I'll, North Carolina obviously missing Drake May and some weapons through the graduation and so forth, and I I think the Gophers defense will stand up strong enough and the offense obviously put up some points just to win yeah obviously good to get a win off the bat here if they can pull that off you know it's mac mac brown's team north carolina typically a basketball team of course uh baseball team but not football but they've been doing well so it's not going to be a blowout it should be close game for whoever wins right what's the margin of uh win here do you think uh go first 24 carolina 20. okay so. That should be good. So all these home games, once again, Huntington Bank Stadium is the new name of the stadium, Huntington Bank Stadium. This will kick off on a Thursday night. Possible rain in the evening could come into this mix, Craig. Uh-huh. Or possible rain on the artificial turf. Uh, could be some good good information, uh, a good game. Now, the next two games also at home, but look who they're playing. Game two, Rhode Island at home, 11 o'clock start. The following Saturday at home, 11 a.m. against Rhode Island. Is this going to be uh, any kind of a close competition game, you think? First half. Maybe after that, go for a good blow them off. So, uh, I, okay. Rams might score 13 points. Yeah, it's a, it's an easier contest. They, they've been scheduling harder competition here the first couple of games, uh, last couple of years, instead of the easy, you know, the – the three and zero wins where you're blowing everyone out. Now you've got some North Carolina in here. The next game is Nevada, game number three, also at home, a two thirty. I'm not sure if that's nationally televised or not, but but because it's two thirty, it could be. How is this road? How is this Nevada team? They're they're spread up pistol offense, uh, kind of throw the ball, run balance pass. They could cause problems. It, it, Gophers got. Don't take them lightly because Nevada could could beat them. So um, it would be an interesting game. I, I think Nevada will hang. Okay. It all depends on how good this quarterback is, too, for the Gophers get. You know, if if he comes out, they're predicting them to be really good. Not now, just- let's, let's touch on that for the listeners. Uh, you know, we had – uh, what's his name? Alex with the long last name, Calicamacus, uh, left the organization last year. Actually left and enrolled, enrolled somewhere else. Now we've got this new guy. What's the name of the new quarterback? Uh, Bos- is it Bosmer? It's Yeah, it's, I think it's Bosmer, Max Bosmer. So he comes from where? New- FCS school, New Hampshire, right? Yeah, but everyone that's – all the 
experts rave about him. So we'll we'll see. He doesn't seem like just a normal transfer. So. Okay. And he's a football thrower. I mean, he's a he's a passing quarterback, right? Correct. Okay. I don't think he scrambles much, but I could be wrong on that. I don't know that much. About so maybe a pocket passer, but how long will it take then to get the feel of the organization and the playbook, learning the new uh, the new system, maybe that first game or two? But the third game by Nevada should have it pretty well down, uh, and you know, hopefully he stays healthy all year. That third yep. game, hopefully the Gophers will come out of here two and one, but they could easily find themselves one and two, right? Yes. Uh, North Carolina is up in the air for me. That's a 50-50 game. Uh, Rhode Island should be a problem. I don't think Nevada should be a problem, but they, they, Nevada could be sneaky. So um, they should be – If I, I'm thinking three and all, but two and one at the worst, I think. I don't think the – so well that'll still be good because <clears throat> that ends the the non-conference schedule because look who comes home the following week big 10 the iowa hawkeyes come to the gophers and typically this game is always seems to be at the end of the season right toward the end now it's the season the big conference big 10 opener <clears throat> is against iowa it's at home they haven't set the time yet for that as long as with all these other games now going forward there's no time set they just have the date, September 21st, a fall game at home against Iowa. This is going to be one loud affair. What do you think is going to happen here? You know what? I got I got the Gophers winning. I, I think the new quarterback, and, and I think they'll put up enough points to be Iowa against that defense. I, I think okay. it's like a 19-13 game kind of deal here. Makes sense. Makes sense. Now, here's the question, uh, Craig, as we go to the last weekend in September, the Gophers go on the road to the big house, Michigan Wolverines in Ann Arbor. How is that going to go over? Uh, like a paper bag in a hurricane. We're going to get smoked. Okay. We're going to come down to reality uh, uh, against Michigan. I, Mi Michigan, yeah, sure, they lost McCarthy and then they got a new coach and all that, but they still got horses. And I so think. they've got. They're still the national, nationally reigning champion, right? They're still the yeah the D one yeah. football reigning champion, regardless of who they lost. They've always got guys. They're always tough. They they fill the place, hundred six thousand people. Uh, it's going to be nuts there on the road. The Gophers don't have the luxury of playing on the road at all until this game. So they're going to play one, two, three, four straight games at home with the luxury. And then they're going to get into a crunching schedule on the road starting off with Michigan. So hopefully they'll have their win-loss record pretty favorable because they're probably not going to win the Michigan game. Uh, come down to earth, like you say, and then get things to level set here heading into this Big Ten schedule. The yeah. next game, first ever, right? First ever USC comes to uh, Huntington Bank Stadium. Have they, have they been here before? Yes, they – they're in Brewster's air. Okay. Because when Brewster was coach, he tried to schedule USC and he tried scheduling Texas. Texas bailed out. That's out. right. <clears throat> but USC was here and we played at USC one year with Brewster. Okay. So, yeah, so home home. Here's USC, one of the new teams coming over from the West from the Pac-12 uh, Pac division, moving over to the Big Ten for the first time this year. And we get to face USC at home with the Trojans. And then the following week, we go on the road to UCLA, and then that's it. We don't play any more of the new teams that are coming over because the conference is so big now that we're going to be gradually playing these teams as we go along, maybe two a year. Is that right? Yeah. I, I The rivalry between probably Wisconsin will always be on the schedule, maybe Iowa. But after that, it will just rotate between Oregon, Washington, Indiana, you know, that kind of stuff. So. Gotcha. Gotcha. So that'll be fun for the for the – for the fans uh, that uh, the for the season ticket holders, seeing USC in the house here will be fun to see that. Um, that's thing, October fifth. You probably go six years without the Gophers playing Nebraska. Okay, if you think about it, it's a schedule. You know, you can probably go six years with never even playing Nebraska or some of these other teams. You know, yeah, the chance to see them now are fewer and far between. Some people I've talked to. Uh, that, that take one road trip a year for the Gophers, find these new teams now fun because now there's a chance to go see UCLA uh, road games in all these other new teams 
uh, if they've you know covered the other ones here in town locally in the Big Ten over the years. It's some new fresh blood. But that UCL, USC, how do you think the Gophers will do? It's at home. That's the good news. Bad news is Lincoln Riley's offenses are just awesome. And I don't think it can be any different, even though Caleb Williams is with the Bears. But I just – I don't think the Gophers – we're going to stop USC's offense that week. So yeah. I, I, don't, I think it'd be closer than people predict, but I, I have them losing the USC. I mean, this is kind of a downward slide for the Gophers right now. Okay. okay. And we'll get to the end of the show with the final win-loss prediction record, but we're thinking a loss here that makes sense. That's back-to-back now against Michigan and USC with potential losses here. Then you get October 12th. At UCLA in the Rose Bowl, Pasadena, Craig. What do you think? Oh, ah, uh, I got I got the Gophers winning this one. I, I don't think UCLA is there. I think the, the first year coach. I think the Gophers. This is the one they. they yeah, they, they'll go on the road and win this one. So, um, yeah. So, so I got. Definitely got the Gophers winning this one. Okay, and I believe I, I might be wrong, but as the Gophers have the Gophers played in the Rose Bowl since that 1961 Rose Bowl game, have they ever even been there? No, nope. longest. Oh, I think Big Ten schools besides the new ones coming in. Okay, They'll, or Penn State, I think. But I think so, like I said, you know, the fans who go on the road trip so are going to be flying, uh, getting some tickets, some flights to get out there to watch that game because uh, very rare for the Gophers ever to be in. UCLA, except for the back in the 60s. Now, the next game is home. They get a home game against Maryland. This is October 26th. Maryland Terps come to town. What's your thoughts? Uh, Maryland's returning like eight starters on defense. That was pretty decent last year. Uh, I want to say Maryland, but I'm going to be a little biased here since the Gophers are at home. I'm going to go Gophers in a tight one against Maryland. And this isn't the Maryland team that we're used to the last, uh, you know, few years. Pretty, pretty, pretty easy in football. They've never been that tough. But last year and this year, um, they're another team that you can't overlook, right? You can't overlook the Terps. Exactly. Now, November 2nd, the next game, they go to Champaign-Urbana. Illinois, Illini, fighting Illini, a game against Illinois in Champaign. What's your thoughts on the Gophers on this one? This is where they stink up the joint. They lose. Okay. It's, it's that game. It's that game on the road. They just it, – it, it's that trap game. They should win, but then – Something will happen. Yeah. Something will fall apart. Um, turnovers, whatever its case is going to be, it's this one of these uh, – uh, games that they just fold. I think so. It's a game where it, the fans are optimistic, and it's that game where they go, oh, crap. It's a big letdown. Yeah. Now, the following Saturday, November 9th, they go on the road to Rutgers. I'll probably go with that one. Okay. That's in New Jersey. Um, you're going to go to that, you think. Okay, that should be good. How is Rutgers this year? I haven't uh, looked into them. Well, thing is with Rutgers they were decent last year they gave up like 23 points a game so their defense is decent now they got the gopher quarterback Calamanis okay that's where he went he's at Rutgers okay yeah, starter so we got a revenge thing there and um Rutgers they got a great coach and Greg Sherry on so at this point in the year I want to say the gophers but I I think Rutgers will at home, we'll beat the Gophers. I think it's going to be an upset. Honestly, do I? I, I, I don't know. I I changed my mind on this game. Sure. So. Yeah, and this is another road, you know, potential road loss coming off that, you know, Illinois. Now you're going to lose back to back against uh, potentially with Rutgers loss. <clears throat> now here's how the Gophers finish up the final two games of the regular season: November 23rd at home against Penn State. At home, and then you end up the season on the road in Madison against the Wisconsin Badgers. What are your thoughts on those final two games? 
Penn State's too good. Yep. Defensively and offensively, it's, it's, they're just going to grind us out. Um, we'll beat Wisconsin. That was a flex job right there. What's that? Say it again. I missed it. it they're going to beat Wisconsin, and then that will say yeah. flex job. Okay. On the road, so in Madison, okay, Camp Randall, that's going to be huge. The, so here's the goal. Here's my summary of the Gophers. They could be a four-win team, or they could be, at best, an eight-win team. And I think it all comes down to injuries. If they can stay – their key players can stay on the field most of the game. I think we have a chance of winning seven, eight at best. That's that'll be magical. But if we have injuries across the line and in the secondary and, and you know wide receiver, we we could win four games. Okay. We don't. I looked at the roster, and this is kind of a good thing, bad thing deal. There is a ton of freshmen and sophomores on the Gophers roster. Okay. And um, and I don't know if there's – they don't seem like studs, but there's a ton of underclassmen on the roster. So if these guys get hurt, you got freshmen playing. And we know how that works, you know, blown coverages, missed tackles, stuff like that, you know. When you're playing USC, you can't miss tackles because they'll turn an eight-yard pass into a 30-yard pass, you know. So well, that's where I'm at with the Gophers. I is this is the worst season for me to predict the Gophers. So new quarterback sounds legit. They got experienced wide receivers in Brockington and um, Jackson. They need to develop a tight end that can get you four or five catches a game for 38 yards, somewhere in that range. Um, and I've got Taylor running back. He could be a thousand yard running back. You know. So there, there's, there's, what do I say? There's, there's ten there, but it's thin. That's the problem. So do you think six and six with a twelve game schedule, five and seven, um, somewhere in that range? Six is the bowl category, right? Bowl eligible. Right. That didn't change. That's still the same, right? Yes. So that's going to be tough. If, like you say, you could go four wins and be out of the bowl. Five wins, be out of the bowl. Or like last year, you get five years, uh, five wins, and there's not enough teams. You end up, you know, getting asked to play a bowl game. But it's going to be tough to get six. Do you see them winning seven or eight games this year? The only way they can do that is by beating the teams that they're supposed to beat. If okay. we lose to Illinois, if we lose to a Rutgers, then that's out the window. See, I can't see them beating Penn State, Michigan. Jeez. Uh, they they might have a chance against USC because they their defense was terrible last year and, and obviously only made but so five five wins isn't even a slam dunk. It's going to be a tough season to win five, maybe even six. And we don't know how USC is going to pan up. They, gotcha. they 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 have a new quarterback. They got a new defensive coordinator. We they could be a team that's on the bubble. That's so. Then Wisconsin didn't have a great year last year, so they should improve on that. But you don't know. So there's some. That's why I haven't beaten Wisconsin. And then if they can beat Rutgers, Illinois, take care of that, and maybe lose to Maryland, and then beat Iowa or Wisconsin, and then maybe USC, then it's a good year. In my yeah, opinion. and so even six six, uh, even though it sounds uh, bad, you still get into a lower level tier bowl game. You're still in a tough uh, Big Ten, a tougher, a tougher opponents now Big Ten with all the new teams. But it seems more realistic for five wins, uh, no bowl season ends, that thing. And then what you just mentioned with all the freshmen and sophomores is that this will be a good squad in a couple of years, but it's not going to be this year. It's not going to be this year that they're going to be a top team. Well, the problem is if, if, they, if they have to play them, we're screwed. If they're just filtered in, it's different. But if they're asked to carry the load because of injuries or – Not in a couple of years. If they're freshmen now, you know, you're three, four years, if they stick with the program and don't get injured, this could be a, a couple of good classes here down the road. Uh, with the 
yeah, I'm hoping this new quarterback will figure out, you know, throw to a tight end, you know, here or there, just, you know, be able to throw to the second, third option of a route, you know, and, and guys in the game. So hopefully that happens. And I ain't worried about Taylor. I think we'll, he'll run for 800 to 1,000 yards this season, once again, if he stays healthy, you know. And so the running game, I think, will be fine. It's, it's, let's get, get the passing game to where we do 200 a game. We can get to that point. I think we'll be all right. Now, here's a question for you, Craig. I was looking at the schedule. It's 12 games, 12 game schedule, right? Uh, that it's really 14 weeks long. And so instead of one buy, they all basically have two buys during the season where you have a buy week. Is this going to help <clears throat> the Gophers or not? Here's their buys. They finish UCLA on the road, right? They come back from UCLA on a game that you mentioned that they could uh, actually win. Now you get a bye week to prepare for that home Maryland game. Is that going to, could that help them? increase the odds of beating the Terps. Oh, definitely. I didn't realize that. I, I didn't even notice the buys. I'm sorry. I yeah, there's two. I, I wanted to ask you about this because this could help. And a lot of people, I think, also don't know when the buys are and when they're filtered into the schedule. And this could be important because, like you said, if you could pull off a win against Maryland that maybe was 50-50, now you have an extra week to study them without them having the same luxury. That could be huge. The yeah. other one – is after the Rutgers game on the road, before Penn State comes here, there's an extra week. That may be a moot point, right? Because Penn State's going to win either way, whether you've got an extra buy or two weeks buy. They're, that's not going to change anything. But the advantage could come before that Maryland game. Oh, I, yeah. I didn't even pay attention to the buy, so thank you for it. Now that changes everything. Because I think you got guys kind of banged up. You get that week off before Maryland, and you you're doing film, you're doing practices, you're, yeah, that, that's a big advantage to me. And then the other one is uh, in the middle of November is that other buy. Like I said, it's it's in front of the Penn State game, which you're probably going to lose anyway, but it's another chance to get guys healthy. It's guys to get uh, recovered for the following week. The Wisconsin game, which is that winnable game on the road, everyone could be healthy for that last game of the season with that second buy way late. Yes, I like, I like it. it. I like it. Um, all right, so the first game at home, they're calling it a gold out. Gold out game. Everyone's wearing gold. They're going to try to fill the stadium and seats with gold. Uh, are you a fan of these kinds of uh, gimmicks uh, or not? Well, yeah, I kind of like, I like the white outs. I like the gold. I, I think they're cool. It gets fans are into it. You sell merchandise. Why, why not? Yeah. They're having there's various teams that do stripe outs and whatnot. Every other section is a different color. But the Gophers, if you're planning on going to the game Thursday night, it is gold out. Uh, wear your gold, wear your gold. It's going to be a nationally televised game. It should be good. And like Craig said, it should be you know actually could be a win. Uh, besides, uh, on uh, to kick off the season, but it's a 12 game season. It's grueling, and then you have the bowl games and everything else that comes with it. We're going to do another bonus episode down the road of the new 12 team playoff format. And that'll be interesting because we'll have Craig on the show again to go over that and what that's going to be like, because this is the year that gets implemented, that this gets implemented, the playoff system where 12 teams are in it. And these first couple of rounds of the playoffs are on your home stadium, which is huge to the school. Uh, for dollars, cha-ching, of course, and fans get to go to another game. But we're going to cover that in a future show. I don't think the Gophers will be involved in the 12-team playoff this year, of course. But I want to see what that's going to look like. And I think the fans are interested in listening to that, too, the uh, general sports fans out there. It's it's a lot to take in. You know, we've just had the four teams make it the last uh, several years. So they're going to 12. Um, that should be interesting. We'll do a show on the future coming up on that. But anything else on the Gophers have you got? Yeah, this is um, this is my year for Fleck. If, if the rumors are true from Big Ten coaches that were anonymous, he wanted out of Minnesota. He begged UCLA to hire him. Okay. You know, if that's true, which I think has some merit, now, then get out. We, we'll, you know, I don't, I don't want to stand. I don't want to have a coach like that. 
that's lobbying for other jobs and begging them to hire him? No. Yeah. I know Minnesota, he probably wants the NL money with UCLA. He probably wants the California recruiting. Um, but, you know, if you're doing that, then just, this is the year. Either you show up or you're out to me. You know, um, you, you, how long has he been there? Seven, eight years now? And we're in mediocrity the last four? Yeah. If, it's <clears throat> Prove it or... or Prove that you can coach at Alabama. Prove that you can coach at UCLA. You know, this is your – Urban Meyer started at Utah, worked his way to Florida. Then you, you so, know. so this could be really what you're saying is uh, P.J. Fleck may be using this season as an audition to go to a much bigger school and and, and show what he can do. Well, That's I think fine with me. I think he's had his time here. I'm not for, for, for pro, or against him. But you're right. After this season, it it might be time for a change anyway. Well, if he, if he, I think he knew the season was going to be tough, so he's trying to get into the UCLA job. So, in the way the ports are, like he was begging to get out of Minnesota to go to UCLA, and they wouldn't hire him. So now he's oh, you know. So screw that. You know, Minnesota can just you know go try to hire some defensive coordinator at Alabama or or Georgia mm -hmm. or. Like that. See if he, he we're not gonna get a ready made coach unless he's a scandalous coach that has to coach at Liberty and then, then like Kiffin or somebody like that, Bobby Matrino, then he finally gets another shot, right? You know, it's either gonna be one of those guys or a up and coming offensive coordinator the the replace flat, you know? We're not gonna get the big name, but but if we're gonna sit around it five and seven six and seven who who cares and, no. and he wants to beg another teams to take them hire them then get them out of here yep i think that's fair i think that's fair so six and six five and seven somewhere in there depending on how it goes it's all basically on the on the shoulders of this new quarterback we'll see how he does here the guy from new hampshire uh see how those first three games uh you know shake out because learning a new offense and everything else is going with it. Coming from an FCS school, I don't know what the big difference would be going to the D1. There could be a big difference. There could maybe be no difference at all. But uh, it may be a rude awakening, or he may just excel. I've heard only good things about this guy. But then again, we'll see when the rubber hits the road what actually happens on Thursday night. Yeah. I, my key is injuries. We're not, we're not deep enough. If we can stay healthy. We got a shot at seven wins. If we don't, we're, we could win four. It's up all up in the air, I think. I like it. I like it. Um, all right, thanks, uh, Craig. Thanks for your time tonight. This is Craig from Philly. We've had on for the Golden Gopher football preview show for the 2024 season. Uh, we'll have him on back uh, multiple times during the season on other, uh, other sporting events here at Sports and Songs. But thanks for your time, Craig. You got it, Dan. All right, see you.